Today we're standing, we're with uh, Tony Archer, the, who is the Scottish manager for the Cofields Car Club, and Robert Leslie, who's the energy officer for Orton Housing Association Limited. If you'd just like to tell us a little bit, please, about what exactly the car club is in general across Scotland, and Robert, if you'd like to let us know how it benefits the tenants in Orkney itself. Ah, yeah, well, first of all, the car club's uh, about car sharing rather than car ownership, so... Um, uh, if you join a Cobiels car club, uh, you get access to cars, um, not only here in Orkney, but across Scotland, in our other locations, and indeed across the whole of the UK, because we're in about 40 different locations. So it's, it's partly to do with car sharing and uh, encouraging people to um, use cars less uh, by uh, 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 using community cars this way. Uh, we often find that people that join Cobiels Car Club give up their own cars uh, after joining, and that's uh, a trend that's seen across Scotland. And they would just need to get any information that they were looking for from the co-fields.org.uk? Yep. Yeah, just yeah. go online uh, you and find can, out information there? Yeah, you can uh, go online to our website or download the app, and you can join as a member there um, and um, get access to all the cars across the UK on, on, on that site. There's there. access to a map then, so people can see yeah, where, they are, a, where exactly a, a, they are. Yeah, a map which shows you where all the cars are and whether they're available or not. That's absolutely super. And Robert, how does this benefit the people in Orkney? Well, I think that uh, from one point of view, electric vehicles in Orkney are not really an unusual site. I mean, there's over 200 on the roads already, but the car club. Uh, it's something new to Orkney really and the uh, well electric vehicles seem to be the way to go so when the Energy Saving Trust had this plugged in household um, fund we decided to bid for that um, just to see you know how a 12 month pilot would go and I really like the idea of getting electric vehicles sort of normalised for a uh, use by folk that maybe wouldn't ordinarily be going out and purchasing one straight off, so uh, the, the idea of sharing and uh, you know just being able to pick up a car when they need it, uh, we're already having tenants looking at the benefits and a way to do the sums to see if they could get rid of their car and, uh, and just hire one, one of ours when they need it. And I know it's uh, just cost a pound to sign up, but is there a specific way that the people in Orkney actually need to sign up? Or, I mean, I know you there's a discount available? I think there's a discount available, yeah. There's a discount available for uh, tenants at the moment uh, through the 12 month or the, the pilot project. And that's 25%. So, ah, yeah. So that's a, a bit of an incentive, and I think there's some free drive time uh, for non residents also. So, yeah, there's, there's a, a wee incentive there to give them a go, as if you needed an incentive to have a shot at a BMW. Oh, no, you know, I was uh, into that. It was yeah. absolutely super. So, yeah. It was great. So yeah. smooth as anything. Uh, and likewise, then, they just find out the information on the web page, or you'll have links on your own web page? Yeah, well, I mean, we can give them the information. We've got posters and we've got uh, leaflets uh, at the office, too. On behalf of Orkney News, I would just like to thank you both very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. All right. Sure. Oh,